Powered by solar and the energy of music, this artist is the only U.S. citizen chosen by the United Nations General Assembly as one of 17 young global leaders promoting sustainability efforts for our guys. planet. Let's meet A.Y. Young and learn about his battery tour. Oh, let's see if this works. It better work because we just split the power. Setting up to do the battery tour, so we hope our goal is to send, you see that? We got a solar panel over there, you can barely see. And uh, we hope to send that to somebody across the world or America who needs electricity. So at the battery tour, we kind of use music, right? It's a universal language. We bring people together to have a good time, dance. My homie's about to dance too. What's up, bro? Music is the most important ingredient to what we do at the battery tour. I mean, ultimately music is a universal language. It, it brings people together of all races, all ages, all demographics, united and plugged into each other. So we simply at the battery tour just use music as a vehicle to plug people in both physically, digitally, and around the world, around sustainability, you know? So um, without music, wouldn't be possible. We will get the world plugged in. Like what a lot of people don't know, man, is that there's over a billion people around the world who don't have access to electricity. Like, so we have the battery tour here, just using music as a vehicle to bring people together, to raise awareness about that issue, and to help send, you know, promote, develop, and deploy, you know, uh, renewable energy to people around the world that need it. And to be able now to have solar technology to literally send to people who do not have electricity. Like there are people walking miles for water, for electricity, like we are super lucky in America, okay? Like for real, so make some noise, man. We... I thought, okay, we can use this music to raise money to build one of these boxes and send to one person at a time, right? So that's what I've been doing actually all over America. We did over 230 battery tour concerts last year. And you know, each concert is, is built to raise money to build one of these boxes and send it to someone around the world. We've gotten actually over 17 countries so far plugged in with renewable energy. We've sent boxes to Haiti, Honduras. Honduras was really special last year because not only were we able to get some villages plugged in, but we were able to pull off a battery tour concert completely powered by renewable energy. So that for me was incredible in a third world, like developing nation to do a concert powered by renewable energy. It shows that anything's possible, right? And, and here's the thing about like a lot of these places that don't have energy. A lot of these third developing nations and third world countries, they pay for their food like with their phone. So it's interesting. They, they may not have infrastructure or all these different things, but they have cell phones and they pay for their food with cell phones. So without energy to charge the cell phone, they can't eat. You know, so energy access to energy, being able to charge your phone and pay for food at the marketplace or not having to walk four or five miles for water or access to energy is literally a life and death situation. Are you guys ready, Kansas City? Yeah. Let's do this for the world. Yeah. One more time all around. Like everyone is an outlet for change. We talk about that all the time. That's the logo of the battery tour is an outlet. It's in every home in America. It's in every kitchen and gym. You are an outlet and you can make a difference. I do truly believe that energy should be a right because it's everywhere. I mean, we should be sharing energy. Now, um, I'm a musician, I'm an artist, and so I obviously need energy to perform. So the best way to prove that method, honestly, is, is by action. So I, I think proving the fact that you can store energy and power a concert. When I think about sustainability, I just think about, it's a bunch of outlets plugging into each other um, to, to save the planet, to keep us moving forward, to help each other. You know, whether that's in urban farming or how we grow and develop food so we have a, a longer, uh, better soil and life, right? Or what we eat is better. Whether that's through music and entertainment now that now we're powering shows with renewable energy and not fossil fuels. Whether that's a small action like recycling or, or not throwing things in the ocean. I, I just feel like it's humanity, it's the world plugging into each other, doing the right thing. You know, ultimately, it's leading by action, though. 
A lot of people say a lot of different things. Hey man, be sustainable. Oh, do some yoga. Or, uh, you know, or, or, you know, there's a lot of artists out there that also don't know how to be sustainable or what that means. Uh, we, we decided to just buy action. Here's a concert powered by renewable energy. And we're gonna take, you know, whatever was donated or whatever we make to help get someone around the world plugged in because there's a billion people that, that don't have access to energy. And I'll do it one by one, one family at a time, one village at a time, and continue to plug one person at a time, one post on social media at a time, one new corporate or, or a business or local sponsor at a time. And we're here to plug the world in, however long it takes. We were recognized, the Barry Tour was recognized by the United Nations and we were invited to the UN General Assembly. Now, General Assembly is a huge deal, there's world leaders all over the world came and gathered and we were able to showcase the Battery Tour for all those different people, it was, it was incredible. I see the world recognizing that they're an outlet for change. I see the little girl who is, is, is 10 or 12 and thinks about sustainability really understanding that, wow, I can make a difference. Like my recycling efforts or my eating habits are, are, checked, are changing and affecting the world. Uh, my vote counts. You know, all these different things that we push with love, I, I can see the world adopting it. I can see corporations buying in on it, saying, oh, well, it's cool to be sustainable. <laughs> but I, I can see the world plugging in, even if it's one person at a time, that's what I can see. You guys are making my dreams come true, thank you. Well, to, well, love is the battery tour. I, we talk about how it's all about all, you know, all ages, all generations, you know, all types of people, you know, coming together and yeah, and, and plugging into each other and, and and spreading love. I mean, the, the world needs more love right now. There's so much divisiveness, and we are in this together. We are all humans. I mean, every and music is love, right? I mean, we're using the, the language of music, which connects everyone and is a universal language to bring everyone together. You know, only the brother of love, so. How else can you bring people together, though? If you think about it, it's like, how can we bring people that have different ethnic backgrounds, that believe in maybe a different God or none at all, uh, that are from different spectrums of, like, uh, social status. This guy's rich, this guy's poor. So, you know, when I look at the shows and the events, it, it's one of the most amazing things to look at the Barry Tour. It's it's only, it's the one place I've literally seen what you people say or personify America is right, this melting pot of different people, that's what the Battery Tour is. And it's, it's honestly incredible, man. Life changing. Make some noise, Kansas City, what's up? Yeah.